Me? Hey, guy. good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Nine Mile Swamp. Man, it's good to be here. We're so sorry we missed last week. Uh, I'm still feeling a little crooked, but um, there are a lot more crooked people in the world than I am. So, <laughs> so here we are. We've got a. If you read, if you read my blurb tonight, you know that we've got a little something, a little special something that I've, that I've been putting together. It's uh, not quite as together as I'd like it, but you're going to be looking for. The ghost. <laughs> yeah, there you let me in. This song was inspired by Thomas Hardy. I'm going to share, sweetie. Oh, okay. Um, okay, let's um, do. Something. do a little something. Oh, I know. I'll do. Uh, I'll do what I was going to do. Even song. I just worked on that for a while. Okay.
Hear the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So what you're hearing is uh, is an electro harmonics organ synthesizer, uh, or they call it an organ machine, and it's it's triggered by the guitar, uh, but it, it 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 does some unexpected things. So I have to be you have to sort of be careful with what you play. Like for example, if I if I, if I play a particular string loud, it might offer me a, a an overtone that I didn't expect. I was uh, uh, speaking to my speaking to my good friend Larry Packer the other night, uh, who uh, reminded me of the old phrase, you know, "Don't leave home without your overcoat." He, he said to me, "Don't leave home without your overtones," <laughs> uh, because if you listen to a note on, say, a Hammond organ, and I'm, right now I'm actually using a flute sound, the Hammond organ sound. I'll be using my electric guitar more, but if you listen to a single note on a Hammond organ, you can hear not only the the dominant note, but you can you can really hear the overtones in the note, and it, it can be a little jarring at times, uh, as this is at times anyhow. So uh, anyhow, the next song I'm going to play is called Folly's Hymn, and um, this is. Uh, can, we, can, we start? Uh, can I say hi to some people? Oh, let me just finish the sentence sure, and, and I'll turn it over to you. <laughs> and uh, Folly's Hymn is based on the novel Jude the Obscure, written written by uh, Thomas Hardy. Sure. <laughs> yes, we want to welcome you to the Nine Mile Swamp and say hi to everybody who's joined us and thanks to those of you who also share our feed, live feed with, to your, um, pick, to your, whatever you call your little Facebook thingy. Um, Joe Giglio, to your walls. Yeah. Hey Joe, how are you? Great show today, we really enjoyed it. You guys can check out Joe Giglio's show on Sundays at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a great way to spend the afternoon. Jane Lester, hi Jane, it's good to see you. Hi Mom, hi Aunt Marilyn, Uncle Joe. Michael Klein and Catherine, thank you for joining us. Andy Vesley is joining us too. Hi Andy, thanks hi, for joining Andy. us. He says it sounds great. Kristen and Stuart, hey Kristen and Stuart, I love the pictures that you uh, put up of, um, what's it called, Storm King Art Center? Yes. Storm oh, King I haven't Art been Center. there. I feel, like, I feel like I don't have to go now from your beautiful photos, but <laughs> no, I definitely want to go sometime. Um, so thanks for joining us. That's it. I'm good. <laughs> I kneel on 
moments past the darkling heath. My path seems dim by night. Then up the moon and tip the glow through reels of I feel like we're in, a, in like an, an outer space or something. But, uh, <laughs> so there are about about six different organ sounds uh, that I can get using this uh, synthesizer. I'm really just going to use the one tonight, so I don't have any unpleasant accidents. Maybe <laughs> we'll save those maybe for the next show. <laughs> um, okay, this next song is called. Uh, oh, let's add a song to the list. Uh, okay. Let's do Driving Wheel, and we'll and then we'll do Oak Tree after Driving that. Driving Wheel, Oak Tree. Okay. So Driving Wheel is a song by who, by who, Cheryl, do you remember? David Whiffen. David Whiffen. <laughs>
This is this is for Joe. Joe, I think you probably know this tuning joke today, but you you told, you did the uh, David uh, Crosby joke today on um, uh, on your show, the one David Crosby uh, regarding Roger McGuinn and how, how it took him a while on the Ed Sullivan show to uh, tune up his guitar. And David Crosby said into the microphone, "We tune because we care." Uh, I just wanted to say that Opernockety tunes but once. That's a, I need that's a drum a, kit for that. <laughs> that that's a Stephen J. Altman <laughs> joke. <laughs> hey, Jean, thanks for joining us. Looks like you had a nice walk today, too.
I didn't do Oak Tree? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I was expecting that before the song. It threw me a little. <laughs> oh my. Uh, okay, let's do it now. Okay. Uh, th there was no reason for that. <laughs> Now I, now I know not to do those two songs together. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. That, that's a...
friends here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Craig Ellis, good to see you. Thank you for joining us. Brian Knapp. Yes, the Green Whiskey. That was the song before this one, yes. <laughs> hey, Judy and Gurley are here too. Hey, Judy. Hey Judy, you're gonna like this. You can you should go back and watch the beginning too. This is a this is an all it's an all my cute little Martin show. Yes, Brian, then it is this Martin. <laughs> you were right, you identified it. Um are we doing a Hello? Can I name or can I Yeah. Oh uh, no, we're doing fairly full. We are doing fairly full. Okay, I thought you were doing it. Skipping this up Okay. This next tune is uh is is a tune from uh uh it actually was a song in a novel called The Roots of the Mountains which tells the story of a gothic people um, from you know probably the seven, seven or eight, eight, seven or eight hundreds um, year, the year 700 to 800s uh, in, in Germany and France. Um, and um, mm -hmm. this, is their, it's, uh, this is kind of their story. And in the story, the men are going out to, to uh, do a battle. They're fighting off the Romans. And... Uh, and, and there's, they, they're kind of kidding with the women. They're joking around. And, and the women say, where are you guys going? And the men say, oh, you know, we're going out to gather the sheep. And the women say, really? And you're wearing your armor? Uh, okay, that's good. And, 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 and why exactly are you carrying that war banner? Oh, well, you know, our fathers used to like to carry this around when they were on horseback and, and that kind of thing. So, uh, so that's, that's how it begins. Now, at the end of the novel and at the end of the song, there is a kind of ritual where the, where the men who come home from the war uh, pair off with women and they, they have sort of a mock battle and the, uh, men, the men win their women. <laughs> it sounds pretty primitive. I realize this is really the 21st century. And, uh, but they seem to be very happy doing it. And so, <laughs> and, uh, and so then they, they, then they run, run off from the side of the mountain and, uh, and do their happy little pagan things. <laughs> <laughs> which in the which in the main pagan things are pretty happy so okay so we need a capo for this yep we do whoops ding ding and uh, so anyway the uh, the melody for this was written by uh, Stephen J Altman who was a a, a real a, a, a lifelong friend of mine I met him when I was in my teen years and uh, knew him up until his passing not too long ago.
Check out Joe Giglio's show on Sundays at 2 o'clock because that's a great way to spend an afternoon. It really is. And um, also Tuesday night, my friend Craig Ellis is on uh, uh, streetjelly.com. Street Jelly dot com. Dot com. Tuesdays and, at 7. Uh, I guess you, you just go to streetjelly.com and, yeah, you and sign you'll, on see, for an you'll account see the sign up for an account. And and it doesn't, it doesn't cost anything nope. to sign up for an account. Nope. Nope. Uh, and, come with uh, a cool name for yourself. <laughs> yeah, come up with a cool name for yourself. <laughs> Mine is Hermana Kitty. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, Joe, thank you for playing Star Cross for me today. I appreciate that. I love that song of yours.
bitter fruit of violence. He sang us songs about his love that never died. We who heard him, I think we were the truly privileged. We heard his message, working people, we will rise. I'm going to say this. verse of that song talks about an old friend of mine. Uh, the last verse of the song is, uh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for the future. I'm going to put it in the hands of Eddie Deal. Eddie Deal was a friend of mine. He, he uh, moved up to Poughkeepsie some, oh, I don't know, maybe some 30 years ago. So ago. Before that, he was, he was the uh, repairman at the Folklore Center in New York. And when I would walk into into the folklore center, I'd, I'd go upstairs and look at the guitars that Eddie was repairing, and I'd, I'd look at the name tags on the guitars, and it was sometimes maybe a Joni Mitchell name tag, you know, or, or a Petey Garrow name tag, or, you know, or, uh, you know whenever, when people came into New York, one of the things they did if they were guitarists a lot of times would bring their guitars to Ed Deal. Ed Deal was also one of the finest jazz guitar players this country has ever seen, and uh, he uh, oftentimes played in uh, organ trios in, in, in the city. He has a wonderful album. Uh, I think it's called uh, Here It Is. Uh, Eddie Deal. It's just, it's just incredible. One, one of the greatest jazz guitarists ever. So, um, yeah, Joe that Shiro brings us to the end. Eddie was the deal. Eddie was the real deal. That's, that's what everybody calls him, the real deal. Hey, Maureen. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Maureen. Nice to see you. And Don, if you're listening to. So we're going to finish up uh, uh, with the song called "Still in These Bars," it was uh, it seems that uh, you know, some of the some of the some of the black hole bars are they are, are our destiny to uh, <laughs> to play sometimes. Mm -hmm. This is called "Still in These Bars." One, two, three, four.
Like I've called all of my shots Like you know all my thoughts Well, you must know a lot Still I wish we could sing together again Standing side by side Like we were still